everybody welcome back to Cindy's crochet corner I'm Cindy and today I'm going to teach you how to do the basket weave stitch the basket weave stitch is a really pretty stitch and it's really fun to work up in my last tutorial I taught you how to do the front and back double front and back post double crochet and you will need to know how to do this stitch before you can do the basket weave stitch so if you haven't seen that tutorial I will link it somewhere in this video just click on the link and learn the front and back post double crochet before you get started the um, basket weave stitch is really great because you can use it for many projects from afghans to pot holders to scarves um, it, the good thing about it is it creates a thicker fabric so it's warm so it works great for things that require warmth as you can see, these are two different types of fabric. This is acrylic, and this is cotton. With the acrylic, um, it, acrylic is nice because it um, comes in many colors, it is inexpensive, and um, it's durable. So it's easy to wash, and it really takes a beating. So if you're going to um, do something that, like an afghan that's going to get a lot of use, um, acrylic can be your way to go and then the natural fibers are really nice because they're they're they tend to be softer than the acrylics some of the acrylics can be kind of scratchy um, with um, pot holders you also want to use a natural fiber because if you use acrylic you do not want to use acrylic with pot holders because it will melt and if you put a hot pot on it it will melt and um, it may catch on fire so do not use acrylic if you're going to make pot holders you need to use cotton or a natural fiber so let's get started. With the basket weave pattern, you need to crochet your chain, your foundation chain, to a length with multiples of eight because the pattern is in multiples of eight. This is four, that's four, four stitches, four stitches, four stitches, four stitches. And you have four back post double crochets, four front post double crochets, and so that is eight stitches so you want your product project to be in multiples of eight stitches whatever pattern you're using will tell you how many stitches to crochet but if you're doing a pattern from scratch you say you want to make an afghan or some pot holders or a scarf then you just want to make sure that you chain your initial your foundation chain in multiples of eight and then once you get your foundation chain done, and if you don't know how to chain, I did a tutorial on how to do the chain stitch. It's one of my first tutorials, and so you can check that out. You do want to go through all my tutorials before you get to this one, because if you don't know these basic stitches, you won't be able to do this, or it's going to be more difficult for you. So um, I have I think this is my eighth or ninth uh, tutorial, so there are seven or eight ahead of this, and I encourage you to um, watch those before you go on to this um, this tutorial. So now I've, I've crocheted a chain of eight, and then once we crochet, or I'm sorry, 24 was what I have here, it's in multiples of eight, so I have 24. And what I'm gonna do after that, you need to chain seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whenever you do the basket weave stitch, it will always tell you to crochet in multiples of eight and then add seven generally that's what uh, most patterns call for so then you're going to go in the third chain from the hook and you're going to double crochet in this foundation row you're just going to double crochet across all the way to the end of your chain and I did a tutorial on double crochet so you can check that out And like I said if you haven't seen it you need to see that before you uh, move on to this and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet to the end of my chain and you can go ahead and pause the video and then I'll meet you back here when we're both at the end of our chain. Okay, so now that we've done double crochets all the way to the end of our chain, we're going to chain two and turn your work. Now you're going to skip this first chain that you just did. You're not going to do anything around that, but you're going to do four front post double crochets. Like I showed you in the last tutorial, you wrap your yarn around you go around the post of the stitch in front, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You do that four times, and that's four front post double crochets. My 
yarn is getting tangled here. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So now we have four front post double crochets. Now we're going to do four back post double crochets. And you go through the back, around the post, and through the back again. And then just finish your double crochet. Do four of those. Two, three, four. And it should look like this. And as you see, you've got your front posts are coming to the front of the work, the back posts are going to the back of the work, and then it's creating this vertical line here on your back post, and that's what we want. That gives us the basket weave pattern. So now we're going to do four front post double crochets. And what you're going to do is you're going to alternate four front post double crochets and then four back post double crochets. And you'll do that all the way to the end of the row. So I will meet you back here. Go ahead and pause the video, complete your uh, front and back post double crochets, and we'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so now we have done alternating four front post double crochets, four back post double crochets, all the way across to the end. And when you get to the end, you have that turning chain here at the end, and you're not going to want to go around that post. And it's kind of hard to see um, with this, uh, the way I crocheted here. I crocheted kind of tight there. Um, but anyway, you have that turning chain right here at the end. You're not going to go around the post. You're going to just do a regular stitch. And instead of a double crochet, we're going to do a half double crochet in that last stitch. And you're doing it in the top of the chain, not around the post. So then you're going to chain two and turn your work. And now you're going to see that your front posts that you ended with here are now on the back side of your project because you turned. And so you want to repeat the exact same stitch. So if it's if it looks like a back post here, you're going to do a back post. You want to go the same way that the stitches are going for two rows. So since these now look like back posts, I'm going to go and do back posts in these four. One, two, three, And now I have four front posts. And you can tell because the front posts are the ones close to you, the back posts are the ones close to the table. So now I'm going to do four front post double crochets. So you always go into the, you always do the same post stitch that is in front of you for two rows. And then on the third row is where we change it up a little bit. So I'm going to um, go ahead and complete your front post and back post double crochets all the way to the end. Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you back here in just a minute. So now we're at the end of our row and as you can see it's starting to really look like a basket now. You have the posts here, you have the vertical lines here, and we're really starting to look like a basket pattern. So now that I've gone all the way to the end, you go ahead and do the same thing in the last, your turning chain, go into the top stitch of your turning chain, in any of the loops you can get your hook through and just do a regular half double crochet and chain two. So you do front post and back post double crochets the length of the project. When you get to each end you do a half double crochet, a regular half double crochet, not around the post but in the stitches on the top of your chain two. So there I chain two again and I'm going to turn. Now this is where the pattern um, changes. And now that we've got two rows of front post double crochets here, now we're going to switch it up. We're going to do wherever you see a front post double crochet, I want you to do a back post double crochet. And wherever you see a back post double crochet, do a front post. So for two rows, we did the same stitch. And now for two rows, we're going to do the opposite stitch. So go around, and, and with this, it's a little more difficult to do back post double crochets around the front post double crochets, but um, it can be done. So you just insert your hook and then go around that front post double crochet into the back and then bring it back through 
is just a little more tricky, but it's the same principle. You're just switching the stitch from one, you know, from the front post to the back post. And this is what um, will really start making your pattern pop. And so the, the pattern is a repeat pattern, which means you, if you're doing an afghan or a large project, you're going to re repeat this pattern over and over for this stitch. So it's a repeat pattern of basically four stitches because you have two, uh, you know, two of the exact same stitches and then you go two opposite of the exact same stitches, if that makes sense. I hope I'm explaining that right. So now we have four back post double crochets here, so I'm going to go for front post double crochets. One, two, three, four. My yarn is getting tangled here. I had too much out of my skein. So as you see, now you're, you're starting to get that effect um, and you'll see it more once we finish the next row. So go ahead and do your stitches all the way to the end. Again, now that I'm at the front post, I'm going to do back post double crochets. So do the opposite stitch of what's showing in front of you all the way to the end. Again, um, going back and forth from front post to back post double crochets. So we'll do these four. And then um, pause the video and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, here we are at the end. And again, we're going to go look for your uh, turning chain, your last chain there, and you're going to do a regular half double crochet into that turning chain. And chain two. And then turn. And now what you're going to do is the exact same thing. You're going to do, now that we have front posts starting, we're going to do front posts. So we're doing two rows of the same stitch and then two rows of the opposite stitch. And that's what makes the basket weave pattern. And that's the repeat pattern that you use when you're doing a project. You will complete four rows before the pattern is complete. So now I'm doing the back posts here. So I'm doing the same stitch as the row before. And I want to show you what that looks like. Now you see how it's getting that basket weave pattern like it's weaving through and out the other side. And that's what we want. So go ahead and complete this row and I will meet you back here in just a minute. So here we are. We've completed two rows of the same stitches and then two rows of the opposite stitches. And this is what the basket weave pattern looks like. And then if you were to go on to, um, to create a larger project, you would just, now that you've done the two rows, you would then chain two, you would turn your work, and you would start the opposite two rows. Um, and you would do that over and over and over and for as long as you want your pattern to be. And then at the end, generally you can do um, a series of either half double crochets or double crochets just to kind of square off um, the end. Um, but whatever pattern you're using will tell you what to do at the end. This is a really pretty pattern and just like our my other videos when I showed you the base, the foundation stitches and that's why you always learn the foundation stitches first because with those foundation stitches you put them together to create different stitches. But it's still all the same basically four stitches, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and tri triple crochet that are, that are combined to make all different types of other stitches. And in this pattern you see we had the chain stitch, we had the double crochet, and we had the half double crochet. So that creates all those stitches together create the basket weave stitch. And obviously the front post and back post double crochet, but again, it's double crochet. Without knowing how to double crochet, you wouldn't know how to do that either. So that's why it's very important to start at the beginning and start from scratch and then work your way up to these more uh, difficult patterns. And even, even though this is, you know, it looks difficult and it's more difficult than just the foundation stitches, it's still, once you learn how to crochet, it's, it's a pretty easy stitch and it does work up quickly. So, um, and it's really pretty. It, it's, um, really just a nice a nice stitch
So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll also attach links below this video to follow me on social media. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.